हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट आई एम बैक ऑन माय चैनल होम पेज टुडे माय हस्बैंड इज ऑन ए बिजनेस ट्रिप एंड माय डॉटर इज एंजॉइंग हर समर वेकेशंस विद हर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर विद यू व्हाट आई एट ऑन ए डे व्हेन आई एम अलोन एट होम usually on such days i don't cook long meals i try to keep my menu short and healthy so let's get started i started my day at 7 am i had two glasses of plain water like any other day sitting in a balcony and getting some fresh air for today's breakfast i thought of having bread omelet and carrot beets juice This is how I make my bread omelet. Uh, it's nothing different though. I've taken a bowl into it. I have added one tablespoon of finely chopped onions, red chilies, capsicum, and you can even add carrots. And added some salt to it. Breaking one egg into this mixture. Beat it very nicely. And pour this mixture into a pan. spread this mixture cook it for a minute sprinkle some oil and add one slice of bread on it and cover your bread with the omelet cook it on a low flame on both the sides for 2 to 3 minutes here i have taken a pan and added 1 cup of milk to it and add 1 tablespoon of chopped beets and 2 tablespoons of carrot It is called a magic drink as it is good for your health, good for your skin and aids in weight loss. I am not a big fan of this juice but I have it now and then as it's very good for health. Allow it to cook till the carrot becomes soft. Off the gas and allow it to cool. And here I have taken it in a blending jar, added some blanched almonds and 1 tablespoon of sugar first blend it uh, coarsely then i am adding more milk to it and blending it into a smooth paste and transfer your juice into a glass and my breakfast for today is ready For lunch I had uh, some leftover chapati batter so I thought of making a paratha with it to avoid making a side dish for chapati. So here I have taken a pan to which I have added some oil and uh, finely chopped onions. Your onions need not cook properly it just has to become transparent. And here I have added some roughly chopped spinach. and we will allow it to cook for 5 minutes so once your uh, spinach becomes mushy then this is the time to take it off and transfer this mixture into your bowl to this you i have added a uh, salt red chili powder and coriander powder just a pinch of all of them And here I am adding one cup of grated cheese to it. Cheese can make any dish into a wonder. So mixing everything well. And here I am making my paratha. So stuff the mixture and just roll it into a. chapati When I first started making 
paratha i used to do a lot of patch works because all the stuff used to come out but now i am okay with it here i am making my paratha with a half tablespoon of butter on both the sides parathas are a very healthy dish and they are very easy to make as well we need not have any side dish for them we can eat it with the curd or pickle That's it. Our paratha is ready. I had two parathas for uh, lunch along with pickle and curd. For evening snacks, I have planned to have uh, mango shrikan. For that, before going to sleep, I have done this pre-preparation. I've taken a cloth and added uh, curd to it. squeeze the extra water from it and i have tied it uh, very tight and left this mixture in the fridge for 4 hours at evening 4 o'clock i woke up and i took this out by this time all the water would have gone and we just get the thick cream out of it i have transferred it into a bowl i have added 2 tablespoons of mango puree and 1 tablespoon of powdered uh, sugar and cardamom you just have to give it a good mix so that there are no lumps that's it our evening snack mango shrikhand is ready to be served for dinner i want to have something very very light uh so i have decided to have dosas with tomato chutney so here i'm making my tomato chutney with one small onion one red chili five cloves of garlic and two big tomatoes chopped add salt to this mixture and blend it into a smooth paste take a pan add 2 tablespoons of oil half tablespoon of mustard seeds and few fresh curry leaves to it add the ground paste check for salt and cook this chutney for 5 minutes it's very easy to make but it's very yummy to taste It's good with dosas or idlis. Here I'm making my dosas quickly. My daughter loves to have dosas with that chutney. It's her favorite dish. So my dosas are ready. I had two dosas for dinner. I would love to hear back from you guys. So please give us suggestions in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.